Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading guys. Um, this is going to be for the month of May 2018 and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, for those of you who have been supporting me for a, for some time, thank you for supporting me guys. And I don't know if I told my name, my name is Ayushi. So we are doing a 10 card Celtic Cross. You have some flippers here. Because I'm I'm getting them upside down and one card is still upright. So the card which is upright is the um, Ten of Pentacles. So you feel very abundant. Uh, you are coming out from a lack of, uh, like you had lack of finances or you felt you were not doing so well financially. But you are improving now. Uh, if that is not the case, then you will improve in future. Even though you felt deceived or tricked into something with regards to family situation, something that happened in family has uh, made you feel like uh, you got tricked. Guys, some of my cards got uh, placed upside down. Just give me a moment. I guess I shuffled them wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Just give me a moment. <sighs> so if some card still will come like uh, upside down, then I will read them like that. Because then they are meant to be read like that. Let's begin. Yeah. So this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, 10 card Celtic Cross. Yes, you are gaining some stability and some of you are moving into a new home. Uh, you are dropping all the uh, distraction that you were dealing with. Now you feel very stable, very grounded. Uh, you are standing your ground, you are standing in your truth. Let's uh, see what your Celtic cross look like. Looks like. You are still standing your ground. This card is still here. I need to shuffle again. Something is distracting you and your energy is scattered all over the place for some of you. But things like you are uh, restless about something is what I'm getting. Uh, even though things are working out fine for you. Bottom of the deck, you feel very trapped by your thoughts. Not because something is actually happening. You're feeling trapped because of your thoughts and... Uh, the way you are thinking about things is in a very negative loop. You are waiting for someone to come your way or you are waiting for a certain message or something to arrive your way. Something that you had sent out. You had worked upon something and you are waiting for the outcome or the output. Uh, the supporting card or the challenge is that either some of you are looking for a new job. So you might have sent out your CV or something like that. But um, uh, you are waiting now. But uh, the, all the thoughts that you are... Uh, that are going in your head that are that is going to affect uh, your energy and the level at which you are vibrating so think positively uh, ace of pentacles as a challenge is also that you want a new opportunity uh, with a materialistic opportunity but probably you are not getting it right now something has come crashing down for you and something that you had built for a very long time something that mattered a lot to you has come crashing down and you have to start afresh and that is a challenge and uh, you might be feeling like um, what the hell happened and uh, like uh, things came crumbling down it was uh, for your own benefit that it had to happen in past you were very diligent working over something um, in the background you were not uh, probably given credit for your work so you are working in the background or you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or someone who was constantly supporting you from the uh, 
from uh, like in the background someone was constantly working and supporting you or you were doing it for someone else your uh, crowning card is uh, three of cups so either a three party situation is uh, clouding your judgment you feel that someone is cheating or uh, you want to uh, spend time with your friends or be amongst people who are like minded you want to have a happy time you want to break out of all the negativity that you are in in future you are going under a transformation so you are ending something that was not serving you and you are going to take a transformation uh, a long standing uh, a, a chapter in your life needs to end you could also be dealing with a scorpio aries taurus virgo capricorn here uh, and you want to change your life like you completely want to shift because these are your um, two major arcanas you completely want to uproot and start afresh and you are looking for that opportunity how to do it uh, another major arcana you feel you have uh, everything uh, that you require you feel a uh, very uh, you feel like you have every tool in your uh, bag that can help you achieve your goal but you are in two minds like you are once looking this side and then this side like you have too many options probably but you can achieve so much like uh, after uh, you will accept the fact that you have to incorporate new habits or a, you have to shift to a new place or after certain sort of trans tra transformation which is not going to be easy you will come out even more stronger very resourceful very um, in your power uh, someone around you like i said is very supportive they are reciprocating your feelings you want to do something for this person some of you want to change yourself for someone and uh, you wish uh, to have them and you are very 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 focused on them you want to offer them the world i feel here and uh, something had probably um, ended for you in the past but right now uh, someone around you is very much like they are um, they are very focused on you Uh, your hopes and fears so your hope is that things uh, will remain balanced that nothing will go out of whack like uh, you don't want things to get um into an extreme you want to keep things balanced and not uh, let um, anything overpower you or anything get too much uh, you believe in the moderation of the things Uh, someone is offering you something by the end of the month or you want to offer someone something now this person is very selfless uh, they are very loving caring nurturing and they are very very emotionally understanding they can be a little bit emotional that you the person that you are dealing with it can be pisces scorpio or a cancer sun moon rising you need to get out of a negative mindset like a feeling like you are not good enough and stuff like that if you are going through that feeling uh, this uh, because it is keeping you stuck you need to nurture yourself and be a little bit bold and courageous aquarius now we will clarify a few cards here what is this three of cups for uh, aquarius what is this party and three party about what is this uh, three of cups three of cups you wish that you can party with someone or you can have a drink with someone like coffee or something you wish that someone uh, So you also wish that someone wakes up, like someone just uh, wakes up to, like out of someone comes out of their dream or something. But uh, Aquarius, the things are happening the way it is supposed to happen. The wheel of fortune is here, so you uh, are lucky. If things are going to turn out nice, uh, just be very patient. You can also be dealing with a Taurus. Your wish will come to uh, with regards to someone who is. i guess a little uh, like very beautiful as well and uh, this person is very nurturing or you need to focus on your self love before you can um, approach this person so you might feel that things are being delayed but i think the space uh, where you are feeling things are being delayed i think it's the space where you need to work upon yourself you need to build confidence you need to build self esteem and uh, that is why there is a delay what is this uh, ace of pentacles as a challenge you could be dealing with a cancer um, sagittarius or a water sign uh, you the delay is that okay so you feel there is no opportunity or you feel that you want to start something but you can't you feel you want to move forward but you can't you because you feel your emotions are not aligned or you are not in total sync with the emotion you know you don't know what you are actually feeling 
so you are having trouble with that so you are trying to balance it out like temperance here is saying that you are trying to balance it out and once you have balanced all those aspects of your life which are which are making you quite restless you will move forward with a lot of enthusiasm because you want to have a family with someone like you want to start something uh, like a union with someone and you want things balanced six of pentacles so you want a reciprocated energy from this person that you are dealing with what is this uh, three of wands you are waiting for someone who is not opening up right now they can be hiding their emotions they can be a little bit mysterious they uh, someone is also not sharing their energy money or they are just blocking people out uh, they are working on something as well like they they have an opportunity that they are trying to work on this person can be a pisces this person as well uh, is going through a lot of restless nights they they are having a tough time as well but they are starting something new uh you feel that you are very burdened or you are the only person who is working on this now uh so you want to drop the burden you don't want to carry it anymore you don't want to uh you don't want to be the one carrying burden so some something that fell apart uh, here and which shook you from inside uh aquarius i feel that you are trying to be very logical about it uh, you are trying to be very professional and you want to just analyze it what are the energies there there was some passion now i think you someone is spying on someone as well here and someone is very passionate they are very very serious about someone uh, but this person that you are either approaching or you yourself need to heal from something uh, someone is stalking here so you are gathering information as well researching on something you uh, definitely want a 10 of pentacles so you want a family uh, you want stability uh, it can be with a leo sagittarius aries or um, any sign like a air sign sun moon rising so you want things for i am getting here that you need to heal before you can build something future i see here that um in future i see here that you are dealing with a pisces or a scorpio either you are lying to this person or this person is going to lie to you like they are going to hide something for, from you 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 feel that either you are cheating yourself here like you feel that if you will offer this person they will reject or whatever you are going to offer them it's not going to satisfy them because you are in a negative uh, thought pattern like you don't trust yourself you don't trust uh, your instincts uh, but you need to look at this situation from a different perspective whatever you are dealing with is a karmic relationship so someone from the past you want to approach them and you fear that they will reject you what is the magician here even though you are fully capable of uh, do, uh, achieving what you want and you can do whatever you want with whatever that you are dealing with you feel very restless you are up at night either scheming something or you are trying to understand the situation you are not sure if you want to keep fighting for this uh, because you feel you have exhausted yourself you feel uh, it's an end of a cycle like i can not do this anymore you feel like moving away like you feel that i wish i could move away from this entire situation uh, to find my peace and joy elsewhere and you you are done crying over spilt milk there was something that you are crying over from the past and you want to build uh, something new now you want to start something new I also feel here that if you have someone um if you have someone uh, like reciprocating your feeling they can be at workplace and uh, this person um, might not be putting that much effort right now or you are having a fight with this person or this person themselves are coming out of a relationship which was not uh, happy or which was which didn't end well so they are also hurting a little bit 
yes it is taking them lot of effort and courage uh, so both of you need a lot of boldness and courage to approach each other what is this uh, mother of cups in the end mother of cups so you have to make a decision by the end of this month or in this month uh and it's a very like all the three cards are about making a decision so it needs to be about your calling whatever you feel is calling you that is how you should decide you need to close your eyes to make this decision it can be between two people it can be about one person if you want to spend the rest of your life uh, with them uh, if you feel that they are your true, true soulmate uh, will you take that step will you choose them or not uh, so you will want to ask them for the for a day to you would want to know them more you want to spend time with them you need to trust your gut and this is going to be a change in your life probably initially this person is going to be really harsh and cutting with their words this can be a pisces or a libra person sun moon rising or a gemini or a or scorpio so whatever this uh, decision is going to be you have to uh, uh, be uh, you need to understand that after this decision your life will change so it can also be a i think this person is very good looking and uh, you have to be very wise and you need to calculate a lot before making this decision uh, like you have to balance your emotions and uh, you need to uh, be logical about it what is good what is bad and the choice is going to be very uh, like uh, you need to make a very uh, it's a important choice that you will be making this month and it is going to require you a lot of courage and in fact with this person itself they they are probably also dealing uh, with lot of um, like they might have feelings for you but they might find it difficult to uh, open up um, so that is why i guess you are uh, collecting all the data that you need or all the information or what what are their triggers or what are their um what upsets them or so just make sure that um if you are approaching someone from your uh um i think you will find this person uh, like uh, you will talk to this person in a setting where there are other people as well so that you get to know them uh, among like as a friend first and then as someone uh, with whom you can like you can ask them on a date but first of all you need to work on your self esteem and don't let your insecurities come up and bother you don't question this person uh, unnecessarily because i think they have their own triggers and uh, because i can see that they had the strength card so they have been battling something themselves like i will show you the strength card so they can come off as very cutting and very sharp with their words and tongue because they might not be entertaining uh confusion right now uh, so they are holding their heart and look at their eyes they too are very um like they have lost something so something precious so they might not be opening up as um, freely as you want them to open up okay so that was your reading aquarius i hope you enjoyed the reading and uh, i'll see you next month and guys if it resonated please drop me a comment it helps me uh, to track my uh, progress and i hope it was helpful take care